As true lovers of outdoor experiences, we are overjoyed to hear that the Philippines offers some of the best snorkeling and scuba diving sites in the entire world. Between the warm tropical waters and the abundance of marine life, we knew we had to give diving a try in the Philippines. Mobile is a laid-back coastal town on the island of Cebu, famous for its sardine-run phenomenon, where you can see millions of sardines swimming in schools just a couple of feet from the shoreline. So it is currently 4.30 in the morning, and today is going to be a super exciting day because we are going scuba diving over in the town of Mulbul, which is about a three hour drive. I believe our private transfer just arrived, so we're going to head downstairs and get going. I just woke up from the car ride. Um, it probably took around two and a half hours and we've made it to a Jollibee. And this is a very famous fast food chain here. We actually have not tried it yet. So we're gonna go in and see what the menu even offers. Um, give it a try. <laughs> Spicy original. Uh, original, please. For here? For here, please. Something that I find really interesting that they offer on the menu is spaghetti and I've heard it tastes a little bit sweet and so I decided to get the spaghetti and I also got their little like one piece fried chicken and then Chad got the special so he has like everything on there. There's some rice, some spaghetti, one piece of chicken and then I don't know meatloaf? Yeah. Yeah like a little meat patty with some um, gravy, some mushroom slices. Let's give this a try. Give me my special. I just tried their iced tea. And what's so interesting about the drinks, the desserts, everything here is it's pretty sweet, especially after coming from Taiwan. Um, the flavors, like the sweetness is way more than what we've been having. Same with their iced coffee. <laughs> Oh my gosh, that is the sweetest coffee I've ever had. I'm not complaining. All right, here we go. Getting the spaghetti on. <laughs> what time is it right now? 7.50. It's 7.50 in the morning. About to eat some spaghetti. Might be the earliest spaghetti meal I've ever had. There's a sauce that you dip spring rolls in and it's like kind of sweet. That's what this sauce reminds me of. <laughs> not bad, not bad, yeah. Very interesting. Would you order it at 7 a.m. in the morning again? Honestly, yes. I would order it again at 7 a.m. just because like I would rather eat spaghetti, like sweet spaghetti, than like a burger at this time of day. <laughs> so I've always really loved spaghetti. I would eat Italian food a lot more. I, I don't think it's clear it's number one. It's like probably my number one. So, <laughs> That's not Italian food. <laughs> I'm not saying this is Italian food. I'm just saying in general. Never mind. Whatever, Claire. Oh. That's definitely spaghetti to me. It's sweeter spaghetti. I like it. <laughs> We've made it to the dive shop. We are now going to undress, put our stuff away, and switch to the GoPro. You might have noticed, but we unfortunately, very embarrassingly, got extremely sunburned yesterday when we went to the beach. Uh, normally we apply sunscreen, but we didn't yesterday for some reason. We were just too excited to go snorkeling, and now we are, as you can see, red as can be. But at least we have a wetsuit to yeah, we can be protect up. us from the sun today. <laughs> Thank you. 
made it back onto land and that was our first time scuba diving since February of 2023 all the way over in Thailand. <laughs> yeah, it was such a amazing first dive. We went really far down on the water and what I loved is that we followed like this, it wasn't a cliff, but it was very steep yeah. rock face. Which like had, a drop off. Yeah, it was like a drop off and there were caves. Our guide kept pointing his flashlight at all these camouflaged fish and we were like, oh my gosh, like how did you see that? And it's just absolutely amazing the colors that are coming through down there. Like it's neon green, neon orange. Yeah. It is mind blowing because these colors don't exist on land. <laughs> yeah, I was telling Claire like one of the fish literally looked like a booger. <laughs> like, she shined a light on it and you're just like, how is that a creature? <laughs> like, yeah, he's like, look, look, look. And it just I'm looks like, like, how did you even see that? <laughs> <laughs> but now we are waiting about 10 minutes, gonna have snacks and water yeah. before going back out to the water to swim with sardines. Yeah, so we originally signed up to go snorkeling with the sardines, but um, they actually highly, highly recommended that we should go scuba diving because you actually get to be you know, surrounded by the fish rather than looking at them from the top. So we paid a little bit extra and I think it's going to be well worth it. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. yeah we're just not good enough at free diving to go that deep yeah. to see the sardines. So we're just going to, you know, take it easy, have the, have the air tank mm -hmm. and enjoy our time. Before we move on to the second part of our scuba diving experience, we want to say a really big thank you to Get Your Guide for supporting our channel. If you don't know what Get Your Guide is, they offer tickets and local guides to some of the best tourist sites in a city. They offer over 60,000 experiences in more than 3,600 destinations around the world. And when you book with them, you'll know that you're in the hands of knowledgeable local experts. So everything you could possibly need is on their app on your phone. And honestly, this app has been incredible because you're able to download your tickets. They have 20 24 seven customer service. And if you're not interested in your booking for whatever reason, you can cancel up to 24 hours ahead of time. And if you're not interested in guided experiences, you can also get some skip the line tickets, which we've definitely done many times in the past. You can beat the crowds, go straight into whatever destination you're trying to go to. And yeah, it just saves you a lot of time and a lot of effort. So thanks again to Get Your Guide for supporting our channel. And without further ado, back to scuba diving. We're now getting into the water. crazy experience. We just made it back to Cebu. Um, Cebu City. Cebu City. <laughs> We've been on the island of Cebu this whole time. Oh, that's true. Yeah. We just got back yes. to our place and mm -hmm. wow, that was such an incredible experience. Swimming with the sardines was just insane because you yeah. can't even imagine. I'm like, how many do you think are under here? Oh my gosh. There <laughs> had to have been like thousands. Like Millions. Millions. Maybe. Oh. Okay, maybe I'm being I dramatic. Don't know. I think but you're like, pushing it with millions. It's literally all around you. Yeah. And I just could not stop thinking of the movie Finding Nemo. <laughs> just keep swimming. Just like the whole school of fish. Yeah. And what was really interesting is because we're actually scuba diving, you get to like swim through 
Yeah. The schools They'd fish. like break up. Yeah. And make like a tunnel around. I don't know how the people on the surface who are snorkeling can really see that. Right. Um, and so I'm really glad that we paid the extra couple of dollars mm -hmm. to go and uh, scuba dive with them because that was just an experience I'm going to remember forever because the fish also sparkle in the sunlight. They look mm -hmm. like sequins. Yeah, that was cool. Yeah. And I also want to note this really special moment where our um, scuba instructor uh, got close to this anemone. He's like, come over, come over. Oh, yeah. And he um, had me grab onto this rock and we could see this clownfish and his family like super, super close. And it just felt like such an intimate moment. <laughs> I was like, oh, like it, it was one of those moments where the world stopped. And it was like, it's just you and the clownfish. And it felt really, really special. I couldn't stop thinking about the movie Nemo though. And us being the scary scuba divers <laughs> to the clownfish. So I was like, don't worry, guy. We're not gonna hurt you. We're yeah. just looking. It was huge, the anemone. Yeah, it was. The, the the clownfish was huge too. Yeah, Normally, the ones that I see are like super, super small, but that one was quite large. Yeah, but tonight we have actually gotten dressed up, put our nicer yeah. clothes on, yes. and we're gonna be meeting up with some other YouTubers that happen to be in the Philippines while we're here. Yeah, some other travel YouTubers. We're meeting up with our friends Eric and Sarah, and then we're also meeting Sammy and Tommy for the very first time. So it's gonna be a really fun night of talking to like-minded people, and we're gonna go and meet them at a local restaurant. So we've made it to dinner and of course we're starting off with a drink. Chad decided to get the mango shake. This is probably our second or third mango shake in the Philippines. And the fruit here is just so, so sweet. Like there's nothing to compare to the mango shakes that they have here. And so we are enjoying that. And then the first thing that we got this evening is tocino. And basically it's the Filipino version of bacon. It's kind of sweet, a little bit savory. It comes with this garlic rice and also a fried egg. So I'm really excited to dig into this. It's actually typically a breakfast item, but we're having for dinner, you know, breakfast for dinner tonight. And then we also have this beautiful plate. Of, oh my gosh, I almost spilled it. This beautiful plate of baked scallops. And then I have one other thing coming and it should arrive at any moment. Thank you. Beautiful. Sweet. Yummy. Thank you. And then the last thing that we got is kidney law. I have been so excited for this. I actually was supposed to get it on the food tour, but wherever we were eating that day did not have it. So tonight is the night that I finally get to taste it. Essentially, it is Filipino ceviche, and the fish is actually cured with vinegar. And also in there, there's some ginger, there's some chili, and then there's also calamansi limes on the top. And it just looks so beautiful and kind of milky, I will say. But I'm really excited because you know, I'm a big fan of raw fish, and I'm actually gonna try this one on camera. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, do you wanna try it with me, actually, Chad? Cheers. Cheers. Mmm, that's really amazing. Nice. I got mm. a little chili pepper mm -hmm. on mine, so me there was too. a hit of spice. I love the spice, and you yeah. can just tell the fish, at least I think, is very fresh. Oh my goodness, I might get another order of this. This is what everyone else is doing. <laughs> also eating. <laughs> also eating. Also eating. This is so good. Hello. <laughs> We also ordered this and it was hard to be quiet when you're filming that because this is unreal right now. This is so good. I got lechon, but I tried the skin a lot and I just put it like a full on red pepper in my mouth. <laughs> I'm dying now. Oh, <laughs> Did you okay. get one of these? I went for it. Oh man. Oh, man. Wow. Okay, go away. Go away. Go away. And I got the garlic shrimp, the waitress' favorite dish, of course, and it's amazing as well. Yeah, and we also got an order of the kinalawi. Can so freaking good. Mm. One of my favorite yeah, dishes that I've had here in the Philippines, to be honest. So before I turn the camera... <laughs> <laughs> Are you choking a bit? <laughs> so before I turn the camera around, we were just talking about how nervous we all are filming in front of the camera. <laughs> Which is hilarious, because we're all travel YouTubers. Yeah, you think we'd all be comfortable in front of the camera, but it's, it's definitely taking some getting used to. Yeah. My sunburn. <laughs> <Yeah>. Ouch. <laughs> Yours is on your back, mine's on my front. Oh, uh, okay. 
<laughs> well, dinner tonight was definitely a success. It was so nice meeting other people that do what we do and you can yeah. just click so quickly. Yeah, that was just a breath of fresh air for sure. Yeah, you should definitely check out their channels. If you're interested in travel, they make amazing videos and it was a pleasure to have dinner with them tonight. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you'd like to see where else we go in the Philippines, but also as we travel to 50 countries around the world, hit subscribe. And with all that, catch you in the next one. Bye guys. <laughs>